And we are all set. Connor Emmett leading things off for UCA. First pitch from Josh Mallett lifted into shallow center field, and that falls in for a base hit. Good start for UCA. Emmett goes to the plate aggressive. Runner goes, ground ball, left side, base hit. Back-to-back -back hits on two pitches for UCA to start this ball game. Let me see a bunt here. Popped up, and Tim Elko dives for it and makes the catch. Looked like Mallets was thinking about doing the same thing, and a little bit of wind tonight. It's blowing out. There's a swing and a miss on an 80-mile-an-hour slider from Mallets. They're two to miss in the wind. Full count pitch, chopped up the middle. Behind the bag, Gonzalez has to let it go. Pulled at first, and the runner never stopped, and so a run comes around to score. Good heads-up base running by Connor Emmett, who was going with the pitch. The throw pulled Elko at first, and UCA has a run to start the game. A good at bat there, and you'll see Gonzalez cut this ball off. Does a really good job there, and throw just got away from him. You see the ball just kind of followed his momentum. It's pretty close. Good base running there by Central Arkansas to take the one nothing lead. Error of the year for Gonzalez. Here's another ground ball to short. Throw it to first on target on time, and that ends the inning. Counts three walks. Opponents are hitting 318, and that ball is tattooed by Justin Bench. Justin may not have had the weekend that he wanted to have against Auburn, and perhaps a little frustrated. 1-1. It's a fly ball to center field. Sturgeon going back, gets to the track, and that ball is gone. Jacob Gonzalez says, my bad on the E6. I got you, Josh Mallets. Two to one, Ole Miss up early. An old adage in baseball, you just hit in more than you let in. Gonzalez does a great job there, just driving that ball to dead center. 400 foot bomb for the freshman. Watch the soft speed pitch just hanging chest high, and he hammers it to dead center field. Sturgeon had a good read on it, got to the track, and then he had to turn it. This is the guys that he's hired in different programs. This ball gets through the legs of Jacob Gonzalez. That is his second error in three innings tonight. It's past Sunday. And this ball's hammered to left field. What a good at bat by Benny Ayala. Swing and a miss. There's a strikeout from Mallets. And that ends the inning. Full. That's without a hit. Three-game hitless streak. He hits a chopper. Deep in the hole at short. And we'll have an infield single. Bounced over the head of the third baseman. Kevin Graham hits a high fly ball to center field. Sturgeon going back. He gets to the track, and this time not quite enough to get it over the wall. First pitch hit high and hard by Tim Elko. Toward the track, toward the wall, it's gone. Eighth home run of the year for Tim Elko, and Ole Miss increases the lead to 3-1. Well, it may be dollar dog night here at Swayze, but Oppo tacos were served as well. See that 87 mile an hour fastball just hammered to the right center gap. And I say this all the time, Tim Elko's at his best when he's driving balls the other way. And just watch the power. Absolutely crushed that ball the other way. There's no doubt about that. Big swing. We saw a week ago Sunday. High fly ball to right. Forget about that one for Dunhurst. Bat flip. He knew it, and it is gone. Back-to-back -back jacks for this Ole Miss team that felt like they were a little stagnant there for a few innings, but two mammoth bombs. So watch. Dunhurst just drop and drive on that ball. Knew it the whole way. Bat flip me, sir. You hit a ball like that, you should get to observe it for a little while. Dunhurst goes deep for the third time this year. This one 
Nick's Emmett almost went completely behind him. Do it. And there is a pickoff at first base. Nice job by Braden Forsythe. I don't know if we're going to perhaps get a review. The first base coach is trying to talk the dugout into looking at it again. Caught him leaning. Elko applies the tag. And now it does look like we're going to have a request for a video review from Alan Gum. And the ruling on the field will stand. 2-2 lined up the middle. Third base hit of the ball game for Justin Bench. Fairly locked in. The runs have scored via the long ball. And for the third time tonight, after singling, Justin Bench goes to second on a wild pitch. Tonight, a 384 average, and he just drops one out into right field for a base hit, picks up another RBI. That's kind of what I'm talking about. He didn't do that two years ago as a freshman. No question. That 2-2 fastball you saw where he took, his freshman year, he's swinging out of his shoes to try to hit it out of the ballpark. And you just see Takes, takes fastball upstairs and then makes a good adjustment. He's seen three change-ups from you seeing this at bat. And does a good job of not letting him change his eye level. Just goes down with it, doesn't try to do too much. And, and scored on Kevin Graham's RBI single. And now Elko hits it high and deep to left. Did he get enough of it? No, good catch at the wall by Johnson. A guy that they really relied on the last few years. And what a nice piece of hitting there by Orlando to get the top of the fifth started, or top of the sixth started for UCA. Swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt. That is a strikeout. Runner moves up on his own. And if Knox LaPasser had immediately recognized, he might would have had a play at second base. Now LaPasser, ooh, thought about unloading one to third base. That'll be a wild pitch swinging strike. The 0-2. Chopper back to the mound. LaPasser can't field it cleanly, and everybody's safe. You know what was going through his mind. He was thinking field it and flip it and get the out at home. I think you'll see Kimbrell just trying to throw this ball before he ever catches it. You see him stumble out. Some out of the gate. Tough job. Ball blocked. LaPasser didn't get a ton on that throw. Kind of skipped it out. 3-2. We'll see if they go back to it. Throw to third. Safe. Stolen base that time. On ball four. Late swing and a miss. That's a big strikeout. Move with the pitch. There he goes. Pitch. This one's lined to second. McCants diving to his right. Makes a big time defensive play and strands a couple of runners. Center field, second base. McCants just making plays all over. Doesn't matter where he's at in the field, just making huge plays for his defense. Round ball, right side. Base hit for Dunhurst, his second hit of the game. That was a patient at bat for Hayden Dunhurst, and that's what you. This ball hits sharply to third. Orlando fields it on a hop, goes to second for one, to first for the double play. Boy, that was a hot shot. A rocket off the bat of LaPasser. You can't do it any better than Orlando does right there. Just gets down with the ball, gets his glove down, works up, makes a nice feed to second. Big double play by Central Arkansas. Fastball that runs inside, and he is on base for the fourth time in this game. A two-out walk for Justin Bench, bringing Jake two out in the inning. Runner at second, and Gonzalez swings at another good breaking ball and goes down on strike. And to built up 11-3 over Lipscomb. Strike three called, and Daniel goes away looking for the first out in the ninth. As textbook as you can get. And a three-quarter swing on an elevated fastball for the second consecutive strikeout for Broadway. Colby Johnson awaits the pitch. Chases one in the dirt. Three straight strikeouts for Taylor Broadway out of the bullpen. Picks up his fourth save of the season. And Ole Miss improves to 17-4 and four on the year. Rebels will have an off day tomorrow before heading to Tuscaloosa to take on Alabama in weekend number two.